What is going on, guys? Thanks for stopping back here to the channel. If it's your first time here, go ahead and get down there and smash the subscribe button. I'm sorry for not uploading here lately. I've been extremely busy, and but I'm going to be doing some welding in the shop here in my garage. Today, I'm going to be making something from my wife's shop, actually, that I want to go and make for her. Um, she's a hairstylist, so she has, like, these trays and holders with a bunch of, like, collar tubes that she uses, and she keeps having to get more racks to hold the tubes, but she has plenty of slots to put the collar there. It's just more so the ones when she opens them, she doesn't know where to put them. So I'm gonna build her a little rack today, like a like a four tier rack with holes in them and stuff and stuff that she can mount it and I can mount it onto the wall and all that good stuff. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. Um, if you guys um, also watched my grill video, it's hanging out over here on top of the miller. I went and, um, I haven't gotten a photo with that either because I've just been so busy lately and I got a little bit of time sitting so I was like I'll go ahead and I'll make this and surprise her with it so yeah so I'm gonna jump into this guys I hope you guys enjoy this I'm gonna time lapse a bunch of it and maybe slow a couple spots down for you but hope you guys enjoy straps cut out and I got the holes started in this one as you can see this one's marked all up so I'll probably bend it inwards where you won't see any of the marks but um, the holes are actually all going to be this size but I went small because I might overthink things or I might not people might say different it just depends but I'm going to go and these should all be pretty darn close I'm going to lay them on top of each other in the hole size is exactly the size of my hole punch. So I'm going to be able to go and put these in here and punch them. be simpler to clamp them down, but I will hear that stuff. <sighs> and there you have it guys, I don't know if you guys can see those, but you can see the punch marks all the way down through there, and then all I gotta do is drill them out to 50. Hey guys, so I'm gonna call her quits here for you and then it's getting dark out and yeah, so we got two of them completely drilled out. This one's halfway drilled out and of course these ones are already like a quarter of the way drilled out because of all the holes. But it's getting dark and then give the old Harbor Freight, give the old Harbor Freight drill here some little bit of cool young time. Trying my new bits out, Amazon bits. These bit sets really nice. I'll put a link to this in the description below. It's got 
9 16 through one inch, and then I've got a DeWalt set with the starter pilot hole ones, and these things are also awesome. I love using those, and yeah, that's what I was using. Um, yeah, I'll go and probably go and put a link to everything that I'm using. I'll put those in the description. I'll put these in the description. And if you guys feel interested in this, I can put this in the description. It wasn't too expensive. Um, I'm like barely even like, I'm just resting my arm. That's all the pressure that's going on that thing. And it likes to stick more so with bigger bits than little bits. Little bits normally just chew right through it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna end here tonight and we will start back in the morning. We'll ca I'll catch up with you guys then. Also, if you guys didn't notice, I got a new mic. So it might sound a little better or it might not, I don't know. My wife said it sounded better. I FaceTimed her with it on and she was like, yeah, it sounds awesome. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed this and I will catch you guys tomorrow to finish it up. Okay guys, we are on day two of the collar rack for my wife's shop. And I went and I was going ahead, I just went ahead and said, you guys don't want to watch me drill all these holes because it took forever. I'm a little tired now because I had to drill all the holes. It just, it just takes forever with your little Harbor Freight drill. But it gets the job done because I got nine holes plus all the other ones that are, I put them over there out of the way for now. Um, so yeah, it's like, yeah, like 36 holes. Yeah, that's a lot of holes uh, at 15 16. So, and then I, w I was doing that, and then I forgot to go ahead and record the rest of it. I was going to not record the holes and record everything else, and I forgot. So, I went ahead and measured it out because I knew what my top and what my bottom needed to be to get, I knew what this and what this needed to be to get my angle. So, I went and I got my angle cut. Um, it will go and sit like this on the wall for her to put her stuff into. And then I went ahead and used my Harbor Freight brake that I got to go ahead and bend it. And it does awesome on just eighth inch aluminum since they're not very wide, they're like two inches wide. So yeah, so sorry guys, I didn't get to show you that. I just kind of was just working away and forgot, but yet I'm gonna go ahead and cut the strips for all these to be, um, Weld it onto and weld them on and we'll get her done. So let's jump into the rest of this project. Okay guys, my glasses are fogged up, but they're just covered in um, aluminum dust and a little fogged up. So I went and I got her all done. And right there is how she'll look. I'll drill holes in all four corners and mount it on the wall. Just like that. And she will, I had her come out and tell me how far she wanted them spaced out. That way all that stuff was good and stuff. And she brought some of her color tubes home so I could also um, do it with some of those. So yeah guys, she is done. And I'll be back with you guys whenever I install her at a shop for you guys and show you exactly what it's gonna be used for. Okay guys, we are here to install the rack and here's what I'm doing all of these except I'm just gonna be holding just the bottles so let's get started on the install
Okay guys, so we got her all installed and you can see what she uses it for. Let me get you a better angle here. You can see she has her collar tubes that she already has open dental. And as you guys can see, over here they have these and each one of these is an individual rack and she puts her tubes that haven't been opened in them and then the ones that have been opened she has to have somewhere to put them. And she had them all just sitting in this. Well, now she's got a rack and look how many extra she already has. So I'm sure she'll fill this thing up fast and yeah. So this is what it is guys, it's a collar rack for her hair color. If you're a lady, you'll know what those are guy. You might not know what they are, but these ones are actually Paul Mitchell, trash can, Paul Mitchell <laughs> collar racks. And I was like, well, I'll just make this for her to mount all these into. So get you guys the shot there. So yeah, it took me about three hours, maybe a little more to build that. They don't look bad in my opinion. Even my welds don't look awful. They look somewhat better than the ones on the grill possibly, guys. Um, yeah, if you guys haven't seen that first video, I'll put it up here somewhere. If you guys want to check out the, the grill video that I'm building, I'm building an aluminum grill and all that stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little build here and ready to build some more stuff, do some stuff to the truck and everything else, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and get down there and give this video a thumbs up. Smash the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you.